Let's talk bubble maps. If you haven't yet seen it, make sure to watch the introduction video on Thinking Tools, where I give a brief overview of all the thinking maps. Remember that thinking maps are used for brainstorming and organizing ideas. Today I will be focusing on a bubble map. The purpose of a bubble map is to describe. At this point, I would like us to stop and think a little bit deeper about describing. When you describe a person or an object, you can describe what it looks like physically, like the size or the color, the looks, what it feels like, even what it smells like. You can also describe the characteristics of that object or person, for example, it is strong or courageous or weak or friendly. You can also describe a person or an object in terms of the function or the job of the person or object. For example, if you want to describe a chair, you may say it is for sitting. Scissors are meant for cutting. A doctor heals people. And a builder constructs things. You can also describe where, when, or how an action is being done. For example, he cuts accurately. The doctor heals gently. They go to the shop in the afternoon. Although you can use all parts of speech to describe something, you will mainly use adjectives and adverbs. Do you remember what they are? That's right. Adjectives describe nouns and adverbs describe verbs. I will show you quickly how to make a bubble map. And after I've given you a few examples, you will have an assignment of your own. I'm sure you all already know how to make a bubble map. You start with a circle and your topic in the middle. Then you continue to add all the descriptive words around the center topic in bubbles. Let's quickly think of words that describe an apple. An apple is, for example, red. Then we write red with a bubble around and connect it to the middle. Uh, an apple is also sweet. An apple is healthy. It is hard. When you touch it, it feels smooth. It is a fruit. Apples are fairly small. And it is a sphere shape. Let me show you some examples other people made. Here, a bubble map was used to describe a character in a story. This is a bubble map used in science to describe penguins. And remember, you don't have to be able to write to create thinking maps. You can use pictures as well. Let's do a fun activity to practice making a bubble map specifically for the purpose of describing. Your brother, sister or cousin is a dangerous fugitive. You are working with authorities to apprehend this person. You were asked to make a wanted poster. Make a bubble map to describe this terrible person. Include all the words that would describe him or her. Remember to use as many adjectives and adverbs as you can think of. And remember to describe this person inside and out. You have to describe what he or she looks like, what you can see or the physical attributes, as well as what kind of person he or she is. When you are done, I want you to send me a picture of your bubble map to my email address or my WhatsApp number. Can't wait to see what you come up with.